Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. My name's Kevin, I'm with uh, TechBarns.com and GraphicsBar.com, and we're gonna go down to visit Quilog. Fun stuff. We're at Quilog's house, yay! It's full of fire spiders. So if spiders weren't bad enough, this one's full of fiery spiders. Speaking of which, like, the first thing I woke up to this morning is my girlfriend like, Ah, there's a spider in the bathroom! And I'm like... <laughs> staggered in the bathroom, got it like a napkin, just smashed it, and that's how I woke up this morning. <laughs> ah, gross. It's a mutant. Why can't you be like one of the cool mutants like an X-Men? <laughs> he did not like that. He did his friend. <laughs> I don't want your poison damage. No thanks. Ah, you killed my friend! He owed me twenty dollars! I don't know why, but for some reason while fighting these guys, I have like a hankering for like donuts or something. It's just this. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> My brain and stomach are not on the same page, apparently. Probably should have ate lunch before doing this. Ugh. Ah, my shield bomb. Actually, one thing you could do with this guy that's great, you can just get him to kill himself by coming right over here. Come with me, friend. Should get on this ladder. It's got a nice little torch to it. Just hang out here. Bye. <laughs> and he's dead. Just like that. One idiot. Eww, parasites. Remember I was telling you about that blight town lag? Look at this. Look at all of this. No fun. Yeah, blight town's right over there with that gross parasite. Yeah, this place is disgusting. Oh yes, who could forget these? I'm glad they didn't show up in any other game. They're really annoying. They never stop. These giant mosquitoes. Uh, kind of like in real life. Ugh. Real great footage. Anywho. Um, yeah. Not one of these. Everything's gross here. But yeah, like, uh, I might upload a Dark Souls playthrough that I did on my old channel. Like, my friends and I did. So that'll be interesting, because <laughs> on that channel, this is as far as we got, was down to Quilog. Um, I don't know why I did that. That was probably not the smartest move. I'm like, oh, it's an item. You're meant to get it like that, right? <laughs> that was from that fat bastard I killed earlier. <laughs> Somehow it all worked out. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Ride the elevator. Not sure if you can see it, but you can see a dog on that treadmill over there. <laughs> Of green energy, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> Here we are, the swamp. As you can see, the frame rates have gone back up, <laughs> which is nice. It's just that one patch right there, just, it's just terrible. Oh. Oh! Right. I forgot I was human. Because <laughs> I killed that bonfire. Come out to me, Mildred. She's pissed because I killed her sisters in that one episode. Stop it. Thank you, Mildred. Ah! I hate these things. 
Go away. Oh, great, I'm poisoned. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? You know, I got all this humanity on me. I might as well just kindle all these bonfires like crazy. <laughs> Whoa, what is going off his leg? <laughs> what is this sorcery? Let's see if some weird shenanigans happen. Oh, okay, it's fixed. Oh, nope, it's doing it again. <laughs> Let me just roast my foot for a second. <laughs> I've never seen this happen, but I'm so happy it is happening. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> good, good. Oh, hey, I got all these souls. I should probably level up. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some more strength in here so I can just smash more things into the ground. There's some treasure over here. Dragon scale. Probably not gonna use it. Not gonna lie. I like the Dark Knight Greatsword too much. Alright. I should run and fight the boss. Because why not? No, I don't wanna. Go away. Yeah. I should probably be equipping a different ring for this. Oh well. Good thing I got all those poison moss clumps. Now before I fight the boss, I want to introduce you guys to one of the daughters of Isolith. Yeah, use that. I should really clean up my axe inventory. Now, she only appears to you if you have a, a level 10 pyromancy glove, which I do. I kind of did that while <laughs> having those technical difficulties. A mere undead. I am Quilana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have, are you too one who seeks my pyromancy, like Salomon? <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue... I will friends, be your greatest Abba pupil. You must give something up. So uh, she can modify her pyromancy glove, huh? And um, let's see, what else could she do? She sells a lot more pyromancy than the other guy. Actually, I didn't even show you what the other guy has. Eh, no worries, I already got it all. No, Pretty no. much, he had like flash sweat, no, combustion, no. fireball, and uh, fire orb. And eh, let's see if I can afford something. Sorry, I kind of just jumped out of there. Uh, great combustion. Uh, I forgot what this does. Okay. I think it could, uh. That's a weird note. Can it be used by either gender? Huh. Interesting. Well, young people, you must have patience. I'm just gonna run in there. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let me just put this bad boy on so it makes it easier on me. I don't want to deal with you guys and your rocks. They're just hurling boulders at me. He's like, quick, he's poison, get him! Alright. Quilax, do you mean? So now we're gonna hang out with her sister. She's a real firecracker. <laughs> Just carry around some poo on me. Why not? Uh, let's see. 
Better do this quick before I die. Poison. Yeah, might as well keep a whole bunch of humanity on me. Take a little sip of this. Get some Mildred action. Mildred, you old sackhead. You old sacker. <laughs> Wee! Alright. Just today, like... Well, since I film these all, or do these all in one huge clump... <laughs> this is gonna be my third boss today if I kill her. <laughs> now, that's a progress. I guess I felt like I needed to make some more progress after last week. Or the week before. You know, I bet for her it's always a burning sensation when she pees. No shirt, service. Alright, she's pretty happy to see me. But I think it's in all the wrong ways that I would want. <laughs> Ugh. Man. I was telling you it was a burning sensation when she peed. All over the new carpet. God. Ugh. That Mildred's is over there on fire. Got your leg! <laughs> Come at me, woman. Now smacking the legs. Now the worst part about this boss is all the lava. That is the hardest part to deal with. She just creates her obstacles like that. Go get her, Mildred. I believe in you. Quilag. <laughs> Don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> She's not impressed with my dance. Mildred, come on. Give up the pro. <laughs> this is a freaking Mildred. Mildred, you fool. <laughs> Why are you this foolish? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Mildred is just having the worst time over there. I'm just gonna watch this happen. That's how great of a friend I am right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. This love is a huge obstacle. Ah, pff, I didn't even touch that. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll just wait for you to get done. Ah! I'll save you, Mildred. Mildred's just sitting back there in this pool of lava. Oh. <laughs> Leave Mildred alone. Oh, okay, she's dead. <laughs> hey, on the upside, she's not gonna have that burning sensation when she pees anymore. Thank you, Mildred. You truly were a tank of a human. Uh, that was funny. I don't know if it was funny for you, but it was funny for me. Just watching Mildred just pretty much eat a lot of damage. Uh, now for that one bell. <laughs> Let me just dance around it. <sighs> That's not a piss off that guy with the chainmail armor. Huh. 
Mm -hmm. Is that a lunch bell? Ah, I forgot to talk to Sigmire. Oh well. Been mainly focused on the swear uh Solar quest line. The solar quest line, yes. Look at us doing good things. Like watching textures glitch out. Can I get that to do that again? Yeah, look at it go. That is not great. <laughs> this has just been the glitch episode, hasn't it? Alright. This is actually an elevator that will be activated later. And this is a nice little place to go to. Now I'm pretty sick of that cult I was in. I want to join another one. Yeah, I'm a servant. Thank you. I think that guy's name is Edward. Here, let me just push you along. <laughs> so, so far in this episode, we've met uh, three of the witches of Isleth who've been, well, two of which have been turned into demons. Yeah, that should be good for now. Now I'm going to stick with this covenant for the rest of the game, because if you do, like, it unlocks a door later on, and that door is how you can end up saving Solaire's life from, well, himself. Ooh, and we get this great Chaos Fireball, yeah. This is a great covenant for, you know, if you're a pyromancer. I'm gonna offer humanity. There's no manatee like humanity. Yeah, girl, take it all. Yay! Alright. So, I just want you guys to note that there's several other areas where you could fight uh, that one night Kirk, the one that we met down in the sewers. And once you defeat him all those times, he actually, his dead body shows up here and he can loot his armor. He's actually part of the same covenant. Which means he's just a dick. And on that note, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I've done a lot so far. <laughs> I've killed a lot of stuff. And progressed further than I did on the previous channel that I had. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, buy a t-shirt, do whatever, stay classy brush your teeth. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Jeez, I'm hungry. Alright, see you guys the next time. I'm gonna wave goodbye. Look at me go. Yeah. Beckon you. Beckon you off. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with my life. I'm gonna edit all this out because I'm screwed around right now.